Hi there, so this is Mark from Grayson Clocks here. We're going to go through setting up our GM106 or the Mosebear HN50. Um, very straightforward when you know which buttons it is you need to press. So, first off, we're being given the time that the master clock is set to, so you can have this externally set up to receive MSF or GPS data, or you can manually set it yourself. Won't be covering that right now. What we're going to be doing is assuming that you've got that right. When connecting the slave clock, you need to take note of what time that slave clock is showing so that you can tell this master clock what the slave clock is showing. So, normally, the uh, new installation would involve the slave clock being set to 12. Um, now, that's what this line is already set to so we're going to assume that the clock is set to four o'clock so first thing you do is top right button and that will take you on to line one that your clock is attached to we then press the plus button and that gives us access to the uh, to the line time down here and then we use the plus and minus buttons to set it to the correct time so as we said, we set it to four o'clock. And the important thing is to remember that you are setting the line time to the incorrect time. So you're not telling the master clock what the right time is on the mast on the line, otherwise it wouldn't change it. So you're telling it what the clock, the slave clock is showing. Um, if we needed to change the minutes, just press the right hand button and again, plus and minus. So we'll set it to four and then we accept with a tick. Now at the moment, this is noting that the slave clock is halted because obviously you don't want the time advancing while you're programming this in because you can't see the clock outside a lot of the time. So once you've set it to what the clock outside is showing, halted, and we press the minus key and that will then run. So it will fast forward on this occasion to the correct time. So now the clock outside will be fast forwarding, as you can see here, to match what we have on the front display here, which is the correct time. Um, now what can happen is instead of fast forwarding it will, it will remain halted, so if we had set the clock up to uh, outside at half eleven, rather than chase all the way around, it will wait 23 minutes until the clock outside matches the correct time. and. Uh, it takes the route of least resistance as it were so that's it we're good any problems as ever give us a ring we're on 01959 543 660 and you can check out all the other stuff that we've got available on graysonclocks.com thank you very much what we're going to go through very briefly is how to set up the time initially on the clock, uh, just in case that you aren't on a uh, MSF or GPS um, system and that it isn't synchronising itself for you. So from the home screen, all you need to do, press the plus button and then you can change the time, so you change the hours with the minus and the plus. Right hand button to move it across the minutes, change it as it needs to be doesn't matter about the seconds and then again with the date up and down as required press tick to accept